승리 축하드립니다. Congratulations on your win, guys. 아, 네. 아, 네, 감사합니다. Thank you. Thank you. 와, 오늘 이렇게 시즌 최종전이었는데 This was your last match of the regular split and you guys were able to stop Leap Sandbox the playoff stream. How are you feeling? Yeah, we were. That was our ultimate goal, you know. We wanted to, you know, kind of disturb the master plan of Sandbox. 아, 네. And it feels great. And Kian, how are you feeling wrapping up this match? I'm a relief that we won the final match, but we didn't have good performance and result this split. So it's a bit of a shame. However, Kian, I think you were playing on your best level today, starting from the laning phase up until the team fight stage. So, what was the focal point um, heading into the very last game of the split? Because it was the final match, we didn't really have a lot of communication about it. We just wanted to enjoy this match. I think you guys really did, for sure. But it was really impressive, or we were a little bit surpri surprised to see that do not blame others sign went off. Well, I, actually, we didn't know. None of you? No. Well, League of Legends is about blaming others, so we were really surprised to see that Sign going down. Actually, it helped Africa Freaks to perform better. But Leap Sandbox in both games blind picked Gnar. We were really perplexed to see that. So, Keen, what did you feel when they always just blind pick Gnar? We didn't really expect them to take away Gnar that fast. But at the same time, it was, you know, rather easy for us to just deal with it because they always blind pick Gnar. And Dread, you played Lilia in game one and Udyr in game number two. You were popping off on the roof. And a lot of people are saying that Hecarim, Lilia, Udyr are the best jungle champions in the current meta. So what do you think is the best one? I think Hecarim is the best one. What kind of what makes Hecarim different from other two champions? He just you know doesn't have any counter. I think he's just good. What about Udyr and Olaf? Uh, the matchup we saw in game number one. And also earlier today, could you break down the jungle matchup? About Udyr and Olaf? I think Udyr got more thing to do. Because he has crowd control for sure. And Keen, in game number two, you super hard carried. And you got a lot of solo kills as well. Back to back solo kill on Summit, your former teammates. So, what did you feel taking down Summit? To be honest, today, we just wanted to enjoy this whole match. We wanted to you know, go super aggressively when we could, and we wanted to just play whatever we wanted to do. And I'm glad that we were able to actually make it you know, work. <laughs> and Dread, today, that fed Udyr was ganking everywhere. You know, we needed some time off from your ganks because you were just destroying everyone on the roof. So did you expect this kind of thing to happen? You know, super fed Udyr early on? Well, I didn't see it coming, but still I had the confidence that we could win. A lot of people mentioned you two as the centerpiece of Africa Freaks, especially Dread. You got seven POGs throughout the split. So, how do you feel about this run throughout the spring split? I, I do have 700 POG points, but our team. On and the standings is really sad. I hope we can do better in the summer split. And Keen, how was your spring split? 
<laughs> Same. <laughs> Even, I think I got 500 POG points, but still, you know, we are on the rock bottom, so I'm not that happy, but still, yeah, that's about it. But this is a really good, great sign for Africa Freaks to prepare Summer Split as well. So, any message over to the Africa Freaks fans? Throughout the Spring Split, we have been underperforming a lot and we were lacking teamwork, seriously. So, we will do our best in order to clean up the issues about our synergy and we will make sure to come back stronger. And Dread? In the Spring Split, you know, we had the very disappointing result and performance. I'm pretty sure our fans are very let down as well. So we will do our best to, you know, make it up to our fans in the upcoming split. We are looking forward to Africa Freaks comeback in the spring, uh, summer split. And thank you very much for this interview. And once again, congratulations on your win. And I'm going to toss it back to our casters. Thank you.